You know, I've been talking about shooting traditional archery again for the last two years. Um, last year, I took out the old browning recurve a couple times, and the rest actually fell off, and I just didn't take it out no more. Uh, so, in conversation with uh, Andrew from Wolf Paw Archery, I was telling him a little bit about me getting back in a traditional and uh, shooting uh, my old recurve, and he said, well, he had one, and if I want to try it out, said man so he actually made this thing if you guys can see this it's actually carbon fiber and wood and he put this thing together and uh, I'm excited to give it a shot and I appreciate Andrew for sending that to me if you guys check out his bows uh, Wolf Paul Archery then uh, we'll see what it does so mind you I have not shot a recurve in about a year so we're about to see what happens. I went by uh, Barefoot Archery and picked up some arrows. Jesse got me hooked up. So we've got us a uh, uh, 450 spline Victory tra uh, Carbon Traditional with a 125 grain tip. And we'll see what happens. I didn't have any more uh, feathered arrows, so went by and picked them up. Now it's gonna be a little different because uh, I shoot three under and uh, Andrew told me to shoot this one split finger. So we're gonna see what happens. And uh, hopefully, we'll hit the target. Ah, a little low. We're in the center, though. It's just low. Now, for uh, all you guys that been following us for a while you know I only got one eye so hit that target on the first shot I'm pretty jacked so whatever happens after this I'm pretty happy already so now I know like basically last year if I had canned my bow in it you'll see a lot of traditional archers they'll shoot with the bow canned like that I noticed that if I shoot it canned like that it always shot way to the right so uh, you'll see me shoot vertically as possible. Sometimes they'll can't to the right and guess what? The arrow will go to the right. So. Son, I like that. I'll tell you what, this is a smooth shoot and go. I mean a smooth shoot and go. Been shooting a uh, compound bows for so long that and I've had so much success with alligators and hogs and bear and everything. I just love bow hunting and uh, in this point in my career I'd really like to get back to the basics with a traditional bow and uh, see if we can uh, ethically harvest some animals. Tell you what, guys, that joker hits hard. Son. So, tell you, I'm pretty happy with this thing. I'm, I think it only takes a few days of practice to kind of get all the muscle memory and everything back. Son, I'll take that all day long. That's a dead deer right there, y'all. Well, man, I tell you what. Man, this thing is beautiful. Beautiful. Now, this is a 60-pound bow, whereas uh, the browning that I was carrying with me last year, I think it's only a 45-ish, but let's walk down there and see what I did. Rest that right there. Let's go down here. there I like it so that was our first one so I made some adjustments and uh, man ain't too shabby what y'all think I said guys it's been a while since I shot uh, traditional archery and I'm very 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 happy uh, 
with these arrows I just shot, man. I tell you what, pretty jacked up, man. I think, uh, like I said, a few more days of shooting. Probably sling these things, I don't know, a couple hundred times, and we will be deadly, son. Jacked up, man. I'm actually, that excites me even more because uh, I knew I was going to come out here and I figured huh, I'm going to have to sling a lot of arrows to get dialed back in. But, guys, first set of arrows with this new bow. And so that thing is drilling it, son. I am jacked up, guys. So, <laughs> hey, we might even go after and find some babies this weekend. 